Hi, my name is Krusty, and I am very much still alive in the long dark. So in the last episode, we struggled through the darkness, we struggled through the cold, and we eventually stumbled upon a little cabin in a place called Mystery Lake, which I thought I was at Mystery Lake before. It turns out I was not at Mystery Lake before, because you guys have told me that there's guns sprinkled around Mystery Lake, but now I'm actually in Mystery Lake, I might be able to find a gun. And what's more than that is this little cabin we stumbled upon here is... is damn nice, is very pretty, has, has everything we probably need to keep surviving and stuff. We, I mean, we have a fireplace down there, we have a workbench, we have, we have food and stuff like that, which will disappear because I'm going to pick it up. But we have basic essentials. We even have a radio. Which doesn't work. I'm going to call him Clinton. I, I long for companionship. So because of the excellent whereabouts of our current position, I've decided that we should set up a base. Set up our, our perhaps permanent homestead in this place here because it's damn nice. It's damn pretty. And also this might be a good place to wander around outside and scavenge for supplies for a little bit. And it would be a good idea to have an actual place to retreat to every now and again because right now I'm just walking from place to place. Which is cool, which is interesting and I like finding new things. But it almost cost me my life last time round. And seeing as how I'm extremely surprised that I've made it this far, I would like to make it even further than I am currently. So let's set up a place in this place. This looks like a good place, wouldn't you say? A magnifying lens that can be used to start a fire during daylight. Wow. I'm going to leave it there, because this is my home now, and that's where it's going to be. <laughs> also, look at this. <laughs> you, can, you can move stuff around. Where did it go? You can move stuff around and, and, and redecorate things. How amazing is that? I didn't know that. I had no idea. I did not anticipate that being an option. Now I feel mildly more fulfilled with my life. So as it stands, we currently have five hours of daylight remaining. I'm doing pretty good with the food and the drink and the tiredness and everything like that. So I'm going to wander around outside and see what I can find with the time afforded to us with the daylight. Hopefully we can find something wonderful. Oh, there's, there's little cabins over there on the ice. Let's go find them. Oh, I really like this location, except for all the wolves and stuff, but don't worry, I will kill them. I will find again and I will kill them. Did, were you killed by wolves, sir? Probably not. You, 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 you're quite in one piece, aren't you? You also don't have anything on you, you worthless sack of skin. Okay, everybody, so remember remember where we're parking our hat. We're parking our hat in there. Not not in the literal sense, I because I don't have a hat. I would like a hat, but I don't have... No, wait. I do have a hat. You know that feeling I had when I was just walking across the ice there? I kind of have that feeling again. The feeling of... Krusty. What are you doing? You shouldn't be wandering around in these parts. But if I listen to the voices in my head all the time, then I would be in jail. So let's, let's continue walking forwards and see what we can find. What mysterious goodies, what shining sparkly trinkets we might uncover. Perhaps I can find some kind of invisible cloak, like the one in Harry Potter, and I could walk around with an invisibility cloak. Sure, wolves and stuff will still catch my scent on the wind. Sure, they may, may still be able to smell me. I won't be able to get close enough to pickpocket them. This is true. But I will be invisible, so they won't be able to see me with their eyes. And if they don't have eyes... I don't know where I'm going with that. Most wolves have eyes. Not every wolf has an eye. I mean, wolves fight sometimes. They get in, they get in tricky situations. They might lose an eye. They, they might they might lose an eye and then they take it out on the rest of the world for losing an eye Then if they, the wolf doesn't have an eye, it gets more aggressive and angry. Why did the world take my eye? And then it tries taking the eyes of everyone else But as that wonderful quote goes an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind which I really enjoy that quote I like that quote quite a lot and it definitely applies in this situation where there is a one-eyed wolf going around Leave mystery lake. Well, I Don't want okay where am I now? I don't know. I'll just go a little bit further and poke my head out and see if I can find some kind of cabin or something like that. 
I know there are apparently hunter's cabins and things in Mystery Lake I can find with potentially have guns in them. And now I think it's about time we find a gun. I really hope we find a gun in this episode. Obviously I can't promise it, because I don't know this game, I uh, things just change. All the time things change. All the time. There are a lot of dead trees here. Chop down for their lumber, obviously, or maybe something bigger tore through here. The path of destruction only brought upon by an ogre, looking for a suitably sized toothpick. And because ogres are so big, they don't use regular toothpicks, they use trees. Obviously. This is, this is obvious, this is... Oh look, a crash derailed train thing. Well, seeing as I'm here, I might as well have a look inside it. I also need to gather a lot of resources to make torches, because apparently you can wave torches around and it frightens wolves away, and I, I, I want to be able to do that. I wish to wield this power over wolves, the power of fear. The power of fear is a powerful ally indeed. There is a bag on the floor with a hat. Can't have too much water. This is very true, cannot have too much water. Let's pick it up. Stacy's grape soda. I like Stacy. She was a fine girl. If, if we just, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn back now and I'm I'm gonna go back to the cabin because I I feel myself getting lost. I I I know exactly what I'm like. I I know myself. I I wander off into the distance, thinking I just want to see what's behind this corner, and then the next corner, and then the corner after that, and then eventually. See, I'm already wandering off in the. That's not the location I want to be sticking to the tracks. You see what I mean? This is exactly what I speak of. Yeah, well, if I just sprint back, I'll be there a lot quicker, I guess, won't I? I won't have as much energy if, if something bad should happen. So maybe I should not sprint. Maybe I should take my time. Maybe I should just stroll. Enjoy these moments of peacefulness, strolling in the wilderness. And neglect the fact that I am indeed fighting an uphill battle for my survival. And I could get chased by an ogre. If this game actually has ogres, I would be very surprised. Also very impressed, not just by the fact that this game has ogres and the developers have included ogres, but the, the fact that I, I picked up on the signs of ogres. Uh, perhaps hidden signs to the to the common eye, but I decided to discover them, didn't I? I discovered them, I, I knew ogres were there, I knew to be wary of them. I mean, you can't do much if, you, if an ogre finds you. It's, it's really big, ugly, sharp teeth. <gasps> footprints! They're my footprints. <laughs> I got you for a sec. I didn't. I probably didn't. Look, that's good though that you can see your footprints. So I wonder how long the footprints stay there for. So maybe that's a way of keeping track of where you're going and you can walk back on yourself perhaps. If the footprints stay there for a long period of time. Potentially they do not. I can't see them here. So maybe they do vanish eventually. That that's that's not that's not a very reliable method of keeping track of where you're going, then it seems. I'm, um, I'm um, fooling my... Oh! I can see my footprints again. Assuming these are actually my footprints. I'm not being followed by some kind of mischievous spectre. Could happen. So we have three hours of daylight left, the cabin is just up ahead. I may as well take a little swing into the woods, maybe, possibly, eh? Just poke my head down here a little bit, see if I can spot anything. The music has changed. This fills me with all kinds of hope. Not music that suggests I should be cautious and wary. Stop yawning, man! This man keeps yawning. He's constantly tired. There's a wolf down there. Shit. Let's not go down there. I feel like I can accomplish things, but I, if I go wandering around in the woods and then I get lost and then it takes me ages to get back and it's the dead of night, I'm in that same predicament I was last time. I'm, I'm all struggled and I'm turned around and I'm, I'm, I'm all kinds of dead. So instead of doing that, I'm going to go back to the cabin. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to refuel on drinky poos and foodie doos and then I'm going to go out in the morning. First thing in the morning, perhaps. And then we're going to find good things. I will see you in the morning because I'm not going to sit here talking all through the night because that would just be very, very boring and it would be a huge waste of time. Your time, 
not so much my time. I just I just like the companionship and the feeling of togetherness that we share sometimes. But you will be wasting your time, absolutely. I would just be babbling on incoherently about a, a multitude of subjects. Currently like I am doing right now, babbling on is what I do. Senor Babble is what they call me when I visit Mexico. No, they don't. I made that up. But I'm going to go to sleep now. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It has been night time. Now let's go outside and let's let's try and find a gun. Also, I need to find more food because I ate a lot of food and now I don't actually have a lot of food. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be. Hello, Clinton. Hello. So there is actually a little pathway behind the cabin, going into a place which could be of some interest. There could be something valuable through this location. Potentially this is death. Potentially this is disappointment. Potentially this is a combination of the two. It is very very windy so I have to be concerned not only just with my, my warmth, because it's going to be a bit colder because it's windy, but because the wind blows my scent along it and then wolves will take a sniff and they all decide, hmm, that smells like human. I fancy human. I'm quite hungry. Let's eat human. It would seem that this place is just a way around the lake. So I don't actually have to cross the lake, so it's it's kind of a nice and easy way to avoid the wolves, unless there are of course wolves wandering around here, but I hope they will not be. There is a deer over there. There are two deers over there. There are three there are four deers over there. There are so many deers over there. Well look at that. Look at those deers over there. Oh great, I'm at risk of hyperfermia. Brilliant. Well then let, let's wander into that little cabin hut place over there, shall we? Let's let's go do that. Let's, let's go in here. Let's, let's warm up in here. Because it's so cold, and all the layers I have on side in, in me, on me, I don't have them in me. That, <laughs> not that lonely. Okay, well, I don't believe there's condensed milk. Great. I'm going to take everything I can carry that can possibly be of some use now, because I'm not far away from home, so I could uh, actually go back there at some point and drop it all off. But there's not actually a whole lot in this cabin anyway. It's a very disappointing cabin. I do not like the, I do not like this cabin. Okay, so all we're doing now is basically waiting in this place until our warmth goes up. So what I can do while I'm waiting for that is I can actually take advantage of the time and I can try and harvest as many resources as I can and repair my clothing is one thing. Um, one thing I could do, but I don't actually have a clothing repair kit, because I probably dropped it. No, I do! I do have a sewing kit. Never mind. <laughs> How do I use it? Okay, so you actually need cloth to be able to repair things. That's something I did not know, but it makes sense. So I can actually pick up more useless clothes as I go around now that I don't actually need, and I have no intention of wearing, but I can pick them up, and then I can rip them to shreds with the, the might of my hands. And then I can use them to repair the clothing I do have on me. This is good. Okay, I'm learning things. This is great. I'm learning things that I should have known earlier on. I'm learning things that you guys have been shouting at me for so long. But I, I say, yeah, I understand. I get it. I understand. I read that. Thank you for the tips. And then I don't actually, doesn't actually go filtering into my brain properly. But I understand it now. I know. I understand. I, I, I probably, I don't understand. I do. I understand. I, I'll be okay. So our warmth has gone up mildly, this means we can go back outside, this means we can continue adventuring around. And, and finding... Good... Good stuff. No! No, no, no! No, 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 mister! No, 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 no! <laughs> I didn't panic. I didn't panic. You panicked. I didn't panic. We're fine. I, I, I wanted to go back in the cabin. I did. I didn't want to go outside. Outside is boring. Outside is cold. Inside, we're very, very warm. How long would the wolf wait outside for me? Would he? Would he still be there if I, if I just, if I squeeze my head out, just had a little peek? Would he still be here somewhere? Oh, that is very, very much not good. That is very much not the sound of goodness. Oh, shut up! Oh, 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 you're trying to intimidate me, are you? It's not gonna work! You big, furry, black bastard coming closer to me with a- ah! That didn't work. I'm gonna go- Oh, he's running! He's running! Why did I do these things? 
Yeah! Yeah! That's your blood, not mine! I punched you in the mouth! Here, you run away, you little slut! Am I... He didn't, he didn't even hurt... <laughs> I'm gonna chase after him, I'm gonna finish the fucking job somehow. Where are you going, you little furry s Look at you! You're bleeding. You have weakness. I can smell it. But you're running back this way, are you? You want some more, do you? Where are you going? Are you gonna wither away and die in the cold? You're slowing down. Seemingly. You're still quicker than me, but you're slowing down. You, you just, you're running around aimlessly right now. You're scared and you're panicked. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Eventually you will drop down. And you will die. Are you okay now? What are you doing? Ah, God, okay, he's, he's okay, he's okay. He's got a second win. <laughs> oh, hell. Now I'm injured. Now I've got blood loss. And I've got a 50% infection risk. Shit. I better treat these wounds. That was my fault. I got careless. I got arrogant. I thought eventually he was just going to drop down and die. But it turns out he eventually regains his strength and then just... Becomes his old mean self again, doesn't he? I will, I will now be going inside this little place. And I'm... Boy, I really hope this has a gun in it. I really hope this has a gun in it. I, I mean, I hope it has stuff in it. Lantern fuel, that's great, I can use it. I'm gonna pick up damn near everything I can in this place. Use print, great, I can use it to start a fire. I like fires, they burn things. Dog food, great, maybe I can offer it to the dog. The wolf, he's not... He's not a dog, that is an insult to a wolf. Great, right, another newsprint, wonderful. There's nothing in that bag over there. Is there anything in that little box? There's nothing in that little box. Is there a gun potentially resting up in any of the corners? Doesn't seem to be the case. Anything under the bed? No, why did I actually go down to look? I don't know. I'm just very, very immersed in this game. My back, get off it. Hello. Oh, what's the matter, little wolfie? Two strong punches to the jaw by man leaves you dead on ground? <laughs> Is that what happened? Well, I should probably harvest all I can while I can. Why don't I make a fire just like right here while I harvest this? This may this may be a bit overkill, potentially a little bit overkill, but I'm gonna start the fire, then I'm gonna harvest things from this wolf. Because I killed this very little cretin. I worked for this. I didn't have a gun. I didn't need a gun. I just needed my commitment to killing. Is this fire going to work? I hope it works. I'll be mildly upset if it doesn't. Hey, I made a campfire. It's going to last 12 minutes. That shit. Let's put more stuff on it. So we've got an hour and a half to harvest as many things as we can. Turns out... We can take everything. Hopefully we don't get pounced upon by his little buddies. While we're waiting for that. That didn't happen. Great. I've ruined my gloves. How have I ruined my gloves? I'm harvesting them now. I didn't mean to do that because that takes time. I've almost ruined my hat as well. Okay, so when I get back to the cabin, I need to, I need to fix my hat. And then I need to find some more gloves somewhere because I don't have any gloves. So, so now I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sneak back round the way I came, and then go back to the cabin, because it is as much too dangerous to be strolling over the ice like I just was. I could barely win a fight with a wolf one-on-one. One on four. On one. I don't believe I stand much of a... There is a rope going up that mountain place there. I'm still quite warm. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you what, here's, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to drink a load of stuff, I'm going to eat a bunch of stuff, and then we're going to see if we can climb that rope. I am... I am getting kind of tired, though. That is somewhat of a problem. Especially if I'm tired and I'm trying to climb a rope. What if I fall down and break my little legs? I like my little legs. They allow me to get places. Including up that little place there. It's not a little place, it's a big place. Can I potentially put my bedroll down here? And go to sleep for like... Two hours? And see how that changes things? 
see if I can get much energy back. I don't want to go to sleep for anything more than that, because the darkness will be approaching. That didn't really help that much. God damn it. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. The, 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 the rate of my tiredness declines quite, quite steadily when I am climbing that. Okay. So I'm going to go to sleep in the cabin, then I'm going to come back in the morning, and then we're going to climb up there, because I'm extremely intrigued now what is up that place. Potentially there is a gun. I, I, I like to just hope there is a gun. If there is a gun, first thing I'm doing is I'm shooting something. I don't care what... If it's a deer, I'm going to shoot it. Because I should have quite a surplus of rifle ammunition at the moment. It will dwindle until the surplus becomes a very limited amount. But I really want to shoot things. So now I am back in the cabin. I've harvested some things from a wolf. Maybe I can make stuff. Maybe there's stuff like a survival bow would be good. Well, if I, I wait until the guts of the wolf become cured, then I can make a snare. And then I could capture rabbits. Those tricksy little rabbits hobbling, hopping, hopping, hopping around. I can catch them and then I can kill them. So I am completely drained at this point, so I really need to go to sleep. I do have a bunch of wolf meat on me, so maybe when I wake up, I can I can cook some stuff. I can cook some stuff in that fire, I can cook the meat, and then I can eat it. And hopefully, that should satisfy my hunger for a, a much longer period of time than the, the little beef jerky and crisps and things I have been snacking on so far. I also need to acquire some more drinking water at some point because I've exhausted all the drinking water and that is by far and away the best source of yummy liquid. I have survived eight days. Well, wow, how? <laughs> how? So now I'm gonna go back outside and I'm gonna go back to the place with the rope dangling down and we're going to climb that thing because I really wish to climb that thing. My curiosity is taken. Wow, there's a bliss. Wow, let's, let's go back inside. I'm going to go to sleep for another hour, and then if the storm is still here when I wake up, I'm going to be incredibly furious. The storm is gone. Great. Apparently, uh, great. All right, well, let, let, let's get climbing then. Let, 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 let's, let's get climbing as much as we can climb. This is taking it out on me quite a lot. I, I, my, my tiredness is dropping at an alarming rate right now. Thankfully, I'm kind of almost near the top, and it's, it's not quite as tall when you're climbing it as it appears from the bottom. Unless this is just a little bit, and then there's another level, and then i got to climb some more. I don't know. I don't know what's at the top of here, but I'm very interested and very intrigued to find out. So far, it's extremely underwhelming. Look at my- I'm, I'm in the red of the tiredness now already just from climbing that damn thing. Shit. Shit gold. Shit. But maybe there's something worthwhile. Maybe I climbed it for a good reason. Maybe it's not just going to be pointless. I have four hours of daylight remaining. There seems to be a cave down there. Maybe there's something good in the cave. Maybe that's what it was here for. May Jesus Christ, dude. I can see something in this cave. It looks like a dead, naked person. I mean, that's great and all, but I'm not really into that. Hello, frozen corpse inside of cave. Do you possess anything of rifle? I've got to be getting close. They're everywhere. It cannot just be this cave round here. There's, there's got to be something. I mean, i got to remember I came from that direction. I will forget that I came from that direction. So remind me that I came from that direction. And then I will, I will, I will travel through time, and then I will thank you for it. I think right now I'm traveling over the top of that little, that little trail behind the cabin. But I'm, 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 I'm continuing on in this direction because I want to. There, there is no other reason. Well, there's the railway tracks, so I've, I've just gone kind of round in a circle, and if I continue on down here this way, I should come back upon the cabin. I really thought there was going to be something up there. Potentially there is. Maybe I just wandered in the wrong places. Maybe there is something up there. And I completely missed it. I don't know. Maybe that's... I mean, that, that's likely. Maybe that happened. I don't know. But there's, there are places around this place. Which have guns in them. I know that because uh, a lot of you have told me this. So somewhere around here there is a gun. And I will find that gun. 
It will not be in this episode, because I've exhausted myself looking for it, but at some point, we will find a gun, and we will have a very itchy trigger finger. Then all those who have wronged us shall pay. This will now be the end of the episode. Unfortunately, we did not find the gun, but at some point maybe we can find a gun. No, damn it, we will find a gun. I will remain positive to this. We will find a gun and then we will shoot things because me itchy triggy finger cannot be contained and the vengeance shall sweep across this land like a plague. Plague of bang bang shooty shoots. So that's all for now. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Ciao-ciao. Goodbye.